In the opening minutes of the strike window over Rajasthan, Indian long-range sensors fused a new ballistic track lifting out of Pakistan's southern sector, an Abdali Hatf-2 arcing east toward the Jaisalmer Air Base Corridor, triggering an immediate threat evaluation and a terminal engagement order to a forward Akash battery on the western grid. The battery commander received the fire cue through the IACCS backbone. Rajendra phased array spun and locked the track, and within seconds, a supersonic interceptor lifted, riding command guidance into a clean mid-course and proximity-fused endgame that shattered the Abdali High over Rajasthan airspace. ensuring the defended base remained fully operational. That single decision cycle, detect, classify, assign, intercept, was the essence of India's layered doctrine during Operation Sindhua, and on this shot, the credit goes to Akash. To understand why that shot worked, start with the threat. Abdali Hat 2 is Pakistan's tactical, road mobile, short-range ballistic missile built for fast reaction, battlefield pressure, and runway denial. Carried on a transporter erector launcher for quick dispersal and survivability, it uses a single-stage solid motor, enabling rapid launch readiness and minimal logistical footprint. Its core dimensions sit in the compact SRBM class, roughly six and a half meters long, near half a meter diameter, launch mass under two tons, optimized to throw a warhead in the 250 to 450 kilogram class across theater depth. Guidance is inertial, a simple solution with adequate accuracy for tactical infrastructure targets, delivering a circular error probability on the order of 100 to 150 meters in open source baselines. Typical range profile center around 180 to 200 kilometers for operational employment, which neatly overlays Western Indian air base sectors from launch points in Southern Sindh and the Thar flank. During the 2025 crisis phase, some commentary floated extended reach trial claims into the mid-hundreds of kilometers. Those assertions existed in public discourse, but have never displaced the long-standing technical references that place Abdali squarely in classic SRBM range brackets. Its intended effect is straightforward. Rapid runway cratering, suppression of flight operations, disruption of fuel and munitions logistics, and shock messaging under nuclear shadow without crossing strategic thresholds. With a unitary high explosive or submunition payload, Abdali's sweet spot is punishing forward operating bases and aviation hubs inside that 200 kilometer belt, compressing a defender's launch windows by keeping time of flight short and the endgame simple. A ballistic dive at high supersonic speed, no complex maneuvering, but little time to waste. On paper, that compresses the defender's reaction timeline. In practice, it hands a disciplined air defense the definable geometry required for terminal intercept if queuing and command and control keep pace. Now the defender. Akash sits in India's medium tier shield, purpose-built to protect vital areas and vulnerable points with high mobility and dense firepower. The missile itself is a supersonic effector propelled by an integrated ramjet rocket architecture that sustains energy through flight, enabling brisk time to target and robust endgame kinematics. The warhead is a hefty pre-fragmented, proximity-fused package, optimized to turn closing velocity into lethal fragment density in a tight envelope. Where Akash truly comes alive is the system, the Rajendra Phased Array Fire Control Radar, a battery-level brain that can track dozens of targets, allocate missiles in ripple or salvo, and keep continuous command guidance updates flowing to the interceptor. It is plugged into a broader surveillance picture via long-range 3D sensors and the IACCS network, meaning an Akash battery rarely fights blind. It fights with context, prioritized target lists, and clean firing solutions. On that night over Rajasthan, the context mattered. Operation Sindhua was moving at tempo, Indian sensors were already scanning for mixed vectors, fighters, drones, standoff munitions, and the ballistic launch presented as one more thread in a saturated loom. The ballistic track lifted west to east, the predicted impact ellipse painted across the Jaisalmer corridor, 
and the command node made the call, allocate the terminal window to Akash. The battery executed the textbook sequence. Rajendra tracks and refines trajectory, the launcher cues, the missile kicks free and climbs, receiving command updates as the solution tightens. Mid-course, the Abdali's kinematics remain predictable, ballistic, steepening, fast, but not evasive. In terminal, the proximity fuse does what it was designed to do, converts closure into a cloud of directed fragments, rupturing the inbound and dumping its energy where it can't hurt a soul. That one intercept encapsulated several strengths. First, early queuing, even with a short-range bow. Listic shot, long-range sensors saw the burn and the arc, and the network carried a clean track to the shooter. Second, shot doctrine. There was no need to burn a top-tier effector when geometry and timing sat squarely inside Akash's envelope, conserving magazine depth across layers while taking the highest confidence shot is the art of integrated air defense. Third, control of the battle space. By keeping the air breathing picture under surveillance and holding other interceptors in reserve, the command team ensured there was no tunnel vision on the ballistic vector, exactly how mixed raids are beaten. For completeness, it helps to frame what Abdali brings and why a terminal SAM can handle it. Abdali's solid propulsion gives it a short, hot boost and a ballistic mid-course that reads cleanly on a modern radar. Its terminal speed is high supersonic, in the Mark 6-7 class for typical SRBMs, a serious challenge for timing, but one that a radar-guided, command-updated interceptor can meet when the geometry is favorable. The warhead's lethality comes from mass and timing. Defeating it before it descends onto hard concrete is not just a matter of shooting. It's a matter of shooting soon enough and high enough that debris footprint is harmless. Akash has the reaction time, the energy, and the fuse logic for that kind of endgame, especially when cued by accurate predictive tracks. Zoom out to the operation. Sindhu's logic was to punish and suppress, quickly and precisely, without sliding into uncontrolled escalation. India's air defense did its part by denying the opponent's ability to create tactical shock. No halted sorties, no burning fuel farms, no shattered runway sections providing propaganda value. Each successful intercept compounds operational freedom. Fighters launch on time, ISR orbits remain intact, and strike windows hold. In the same escalation window, other layers engaged and killed Pakistani aircraft at range, and electronic warfare pressed on the enemy's air defense, shrinking the timeline in which Pakistan could coordinate follow on salvos. In that broader arc, the Jaisalmer Abdali kill was a single stitch, but a perfectly placed one, sealing a seam that Pakistan hoped would split. Technical clarity on the missile itself underwrites the narrative. Abdali is a product of Pakistan's Army Strategic Forces Command, evolving from early hat concepts into a cleaner single-stage solid SRBM for tactical employment. Its logistics are uncomplicated, sealed solid motor, compact TEL, rapid setup fire scoot. Payload choices reflect battlefield aims, unitary HE for craters and shock, submunitions for area denial. Accuracy is sufficient for air force bases and logistics hubs, not surgical, but deadly when undefended. Those characteristics also define the defender's playbook, anticipate launch corridors, protect base clusters with overlapping fire zones, assign terminal SAMs to predictable ballistic divies, and keep higher tier magazines focused on longer reach, higher altitude threats, and air breathers. On the defender's side, Akash's engineering choices map tightly to this mission. Command guidance keeps the interceptor slave to the radar's high-fidelity track, sidestepping seeker only limitations in heavy jamming or clutter near a base. The radar's ECCM design helps maintain lock when an attacker tries to muddy the picture. The missile's sustained thrust profile keeps speed on tap into terminal, critical for turning geometry into closure quickly. The warhead's pre-fragmented build married to a smart proximity fuse, maximizes lethality against a compact, high-speed body, and the mobility of the battery ensures the defended asset can be recovered as force posture shifts, maintaining coverage across dynamic base operations. As for the heading and target intent, all indicators point to a strike aimed at degrading the Jaisalmer air base sector 
In line with Pakistan's broader push to contest Indian air operations in the West, the choice of Abdali matches that intent. It is short time of flight, stressing the defender's loop, and its warhead mass is sufficient to close runways and puncture soft infrastructure. But a layered defender thrives on predictability. Ballistic arcs are predictable. And when a battery like Akash has seconds to spare and the radar picture is clean, the outcome can be clinical. One launch, one intercept, one preserved runway. The immediate aftermath confirmed what mattered. No ground impact, no interruption to sortie flow, no cascading secondary effects. The public line remained simple and resolute. Air Defense shot down an inbound missile over Jaisalmer airspace. Within the force, the lesson was reinforced. Keep layers intact, preserve magazines, trust the radar picture, and let the right shooter take the right shot. An inbound removed from the sky, a base still humming. And an adversary's messaging blunted in real time. Akash Battery, Western Sector, track confirmed, Abdali inbound launch, command updates, clean proximity fuse, kill Jaisalma airspace secure. This is the cadence of a modern integrated air defense in action, compressing minutes into seconds and turning a dangerous ballistic arc into nothing more than harmless debris at altitude.